Hey friend, Aaron Dowd here, and in this video, I want to show you Marco Arment's new podcasting tool, Forecast. So you might have heard of this. You might be wondering what it is. Well, if you're a podcaster, I'm going to suggest that you check it out. Uh, watching this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview and uh, just kind of walk you through some of the cool features about it. So what is the deal with this new podcast app from Marco Arment called Forecast? So Marco just shared a tool that he's been using for a while to tag his episodes, to add chapters to the MP3 file and to convert a uh, uncompressed .wav file to an mp3 file uh, more reliably than Logic Pro 10 does, which is the program that Marco uses and the program that I use as well. So let's jump right in. So how does this thing work? Well, obviously you need to go to overcast.com slash forecast and download forecast. And once you have it downloaded, let's see, I'm going to hide this. Once you have it downloaded, the app looks like this, and it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, the way it works is you got to import a .wav file, add some information to it, and save it as an MP3 file. And the cool thing is, is that once you import your uh, your .wav file, if you use a similar naming convention week after week, say Marco used uh, ATP 100 for example, right here, it does. Uh, Forecast does some really, really cool autofill stuff, like it automatically filling in the title, the artwork, and the episode number, and it'll even remember and autofill certain URL for chapters, images for chapters, which I'll talk more about in a second how you can do that. So this is really cool, and there's some other really, really great features in here. So I'm going to kind of walk you through a workflow. This is how uh, I would, if I'm going to use this, which I actually think I will, I'm not sure I'm going to be using chapters, more on that a little bit later, but if I was going to use this, this is how I would use it. So I'm going to go over here to Logic where I already have a, uh, a sample project opened up. Okay, so in this case, if I was gonna use chapters, the easiest way, and this is uh, this works in other programs, I believe as well, but the easiest way to add chapters um, to a podcast file is by using markers inside of Logic, and then when you export your WAV file, your finished project file, then Forecast will grab those markers and the timestamps for those markers and turn them into podcast chapters, which is really, really cool. And it's really easy to add markers inside of Logic Pro 10. You simply position the playhead wherever you want it and hit Option uh, Apostrophe. That'll give you a marker. Shift Apostrophe will let you rename it. So we'll call this start of show. And this text right here is exactly what's gonna show up inside of forecast under the chapter title for the little chapter. So that's that's really cool. So let's, uh, let's pretend I've got a sponsor read at some point in the future. We're gonna pretend that this right here is a sponsor read. So I could uh, click right there, drop my marker. Now, if your marker is not in the location that you want, for example, maybe this marker was further ahead and you needed to have it come back here and start at the beginning of this uh, sponsor read, then you can actually move the start of the marker. Sometimes I've seen this bar up here at the top be like a gray area, and then you can just hover your mouse cursor over it and grab it and pull it, but that's actually not letting me do that. I'm not entirely sure why, but I did discover that if I hold down Command, and click on the marker, I can then move the start and uh, the start location of this marker. So I'm gonna move it right here, give myself a little bit of space. And uh, nope, that just deleted the marker altogether. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, weird, if you pull down, then uh, you delete it. Okay, don't do that. All right, gonna put that right there, <laughs> crazy. Uh, and then I need to drop another marker where the sponsor read ends, which tells, uh, which will tell forecast that a new chapter is beginning, so that'll be the length of the the chapter from the beginning of that marker right there, which I'll rename right here. Sponsor read one, cool. Then right here, we're gonna drop another marker and call it start of next topic. And then you just repeat as you go through Drop markers, start of topic two, and so on and so on. So whenever you're done, you're going to export, uh, depending on whether you want to export as stereo or mono. I guess I'll go through that real quick. Let's see if I can grab all these and drag them back. Ah, that's going to screw that up. Okay, uh, depending, on, let's just, oh, let's go with the stereo file <laughs> this time. Uh, going to hit command A and command B and bounce out, uh, choose the PCM 
wave format 24 bit 44 one yep all that stuff's good normalize on yes 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 and bounce this file real quick I'm actually going to drop it into a folder called finished audio files which will do something cool podcast dude let's just call this 76 okay now that that's file now that that file is finished exporting we're going to huh it's already open that all right going to close that out don't save so i can show you how this works uh super quick all right you got a wave file right here got forecast right here we need to get the wave file into that so i'm going to drag and drop that in over the uh, import audio button right here and let's clean this up real quick okay it's gonna start encoding your mp3 automatically which is a really nice feature this basically means that while you're doing things like adding the podcast title the uh, the app's going to be working in the background to finish encoding your mp3 so that uh, recording in the same room sure um, so that whenever you're done playing around with all this stuff then your mp3 will be ready to go just like right there which is really awesome a feature i really like okay so you basically your um, this is an episode about recording get podcast title episode title summary and then you got the the markers here as chapters and this is really cool and as you'll remember these are the same uh these are the same titles of the markers that i dropped inside of the logic earlier and there's another really cool feature which is your sponsor read right here it's uh 20 seconds and you can go up here to file and uh, export a sponsor well i guess i have to uh sponsor semicolon I think that's a naming convention. Yeah, there we go. So as long as you have a sponsor or semicolon right there, does that only work with the semicolon? Yeah, I guess so. All right, cool. Take note. Uh, you can export, come on. You can export uh, sponsor air check, which is basically just a single file with that sponsor audio so that you're, uh, you can send that to your sponsors and they can listen to how you did uh, selling their product or service on your podcast. Pretty cool. And then you can also drop artwork for each of those chapters. Really, really cool. And then uh, you obviously want to drop your podcast artwork into this thing right here. Whenever that's done, you'll see the length right here. You can copy the length, copy the megabyte, the size of the file. You can select your encoding. In this case, 96 kilobytes per second is pretty solid. And then when you hit command, that's going to re-encode it. Cancel. When you hit command S, you have the option to save your MP3. I'm going to save this right to the desktop. And boom, there it is, ready to go. So you want to notice right here, this is something I noticed. I don't know how important it is, but Forecast basically added some of the MP, some of the ID3 tags. <laughs> That's wrong. Uh, some of the ID3 tags, but not all the ID3 tags that I normally add. And I don't know if you have to have all of these ID3 tags, but when I first started podcasting, this is just something I learned. I use an app called Tagger before. I think I'm going to switch. But you'll notice that if I drag and drop this here, we're missing the uh, episode or song number. We're missing album artist. We're missing composer and genre. So normally, the information I fill out looks like this. No, that's not right either. So this is going to be the podcast, dude. It's the name of the show. And then composer is me. Yeah, so this is uh, this is how files normally look when I upload them. Like I said, I don't know if you have to have all of those. Uh, <laughs> that's weird. I don't know if you have to have all of those tags, but I'm going to look into it a little bit more and let you guys know. But yeah, overall, I really, really like this app. I, I like a lot of the features. Uh, I did a, a speed test to see how long it would take to bounce an MP3 episode or an MP3 file from Logic versus exporting a .wav file and then converting it to an mp3 inside of Overcast. And I found that um, doing it that way, exporting a, a .wav file from Logic and then converting it to an mp3 in Overcast is slightly faster than exporting an mp3 from Logic. Um, and also, there's this thing that's been happening to me over the, the past couple of uh, months or maybe years where a lot of the times, maybe two out of ten times, um, Logic will export some kind of corrupted MP3 file. Like there'll be silence or it'll be, the audio will be 
messed up and garbled. Like, I don't know what's going on. I used to think it was something to do with Dropbox or whatever else, but Marco's been having that problem. I've been having the problem of Logic spitting out, uh, exporting corrupt MP3 files, which is a pain in the butt, which means I have to go back and redo them. So if Forecast solves that problem for me, that's going to save a significant amount of time for me, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes a week or more, depending on how many podcast episodes you bounce, uh, you could be looking at saving quite a, quite a big chunk of time over the course of a year, which is really, really cool. So overall, I really, I really like forecasts. I recommend you give it a shot. Okay. Two final things before we go. Uh, I wanted to show you how I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to play around with using Hazel to set up some cool rules to, uh, basically anytime, a file gets dropped into this finished audio files program. Uh, I want it to open that file with forecast. So I'm going to go over here and quit this. I'm not going to save it. And I'm going to show you the Hazel rule real quick. So if you have Hazel, uh, then you can do this. If you don't have Hazel, you need to go buy it and download it. It's usually like $30. And, uh, worth it because it allows you to give some do some cool things. Okay, so I set up this rule in, inside of this folder. Um, I hit plus and selected this folder that I called finished audio files. Created a new rule in there called new wave file. And what this rule basically says is that anytime a file with the extension of dot wave is dropped into this folder, I want you to open it with forecast. This is pretty simple. I could probably do a lot more with this, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it like that. So what, what that means is whenever I drop this WAV file that I created from Logic inside of this folder right here, it's going to open it up with forecast and start working on it. So this is cool because it, that means that whenever I bounce a new file from Logic into this folder or any other folder I choose, I can have it already open up right here. And if I do some more cool stuff with Keyboard Maestro, I could probably had it have it add a lot of this information here, like the artwork. Um, I don't know what else could go in there. The title, at least, although I think Forecast is supposed to automatically figure out the title if you've been doing it for a while. Anyways, really cool stuff. Uh, I recommend you check that out. So I hope this was useful. I hope you uh, found this helpful and gave you some good ideas for uh, your podcasting workflow. Getting efficient at this kind of stuff can really save you a lot of time, especially if you produce podcasts a lot. So overall, I really recommend you try out this app, this Forecast app you can find at, uh, what is it? Overcast.com slash forecast. Yeah. Overcast.com slash forecast. I want to say thank you to Marco Arment for sharing this tool with the podcasting community. This is a really cool thing. I'm really excited to see how he develops it. If he had some more features and just, you know, Marco's always doing cool stuff. So thanks dude. We appreciate you. All right. So again, my name is Aaron Dowd. Hope you enjoyed this. You can find me around the internet as the podcast dude, and I'll see you next time.